Hi there. My name is Emily and I'm in Burlington, Vermont. Thank you for joining me for some children's yoga. This is particularly important to me, especially now, because I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old. So this has been a really nice way for us to bond and to get some energy out. So I will say that today's yoga is more geared towards their age. So I would say toddlers to maybe age six or maybe even age seven. Also, a few things that I've learned from my kiddos is number one, even though we're doing yoga, they may not follow along. And that is perfectly okay. Sometimes later in the day or even a different day, they'll start singing the songs or, or moving their body. So I know that it's sinking in. Number two, it's always a great idea to engage with your kiddos and take their ideas to incorporate it into the yoga. So by asking them what pose they'd like to be or what animal they'd like to be, and then just get creative trying to, to replicate that pose. And then number three, taking another cue from our kiddos is just knowing when they're done. So maybe a five minute movement break is all they need. But I do want to say today's yoga is about 15 minutes long. And I'd like to show you just some, some basic songs, warm-ups, and movement with very little props, no mats. Um, but at another time, I'd love to incorporate some props just to see what that might look like. So to get started, what do we do? Just to cue them in that it's time for yoga, we could sing this little ditty. It's time for yoga, for yoga, for yoga. It's time for yoga, come on in. And then if your children are with you, take a big breath, breath in. And give them a big hug. Big breath in. Nice big hug. Now, of course, if your kids aren't close to you, you can do elevator breath together. Bringing your arms up with your breath. And then down. Up. And then down. Up. And then down. And then a starting song. Bring your hands over your head and together at the top. Namaste, Namaste. This is the way we start our yoga day. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Now, for some warming up of the body, extend and stretch, extend and stretch, twist and turn. Twist and turn. This is yoga. This is yoga. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. Can we try that again a little faster? Extend and stretch. Extend and stretch. Twist and turn. Twist and turn. This is yoga. This is yoga. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. Now transitioning from the floor to standing up. Any way you'd like to do this, or if you'd like to sing, you can always sing. Here's one for you. Let's stand up in a circle. Let's stand up in a circle. Let's stand up in a circle and take a nice big breath. Let's stomp our feet together, let's stomp our feet together, let's stomp our feet together, and bend down, touch your toes. <sighs> let's twinkle like a star, let's twinkle like a star, let's twinkle like the star, and jump up to touch the sky. <clears throat> and then, to really get warmed up, Let's work on our sun salutation, saying hello to the sun. So our classic sun salutation, big, big, big breath in, and tickle the sun, tickle the sun. <sighs> tickle your toes, tickle your toes. Coming up, tickle the sun, tickle the sun. <sighs> tickle your toes, tickle your toes. Now coming into plank position, pretend you're a big branch. Maybe you're swaying in the wind. Woo. When you get tired of holding this, we'll splash down into late.
like champlain or your pool or a bottle whatever you'd like now coming into cobra pose your hands are in the crown and you're pushing your body up <gasps> pretending you're a snake <gasps> is it safe hide in the grass hide in the grass <gasps> and we'll peek around to make sure it's safe and if it's okay to come out Um, now for your dogs at home, we're going to push back into downward facing dog, curling toes under and bringing your body towards the sky. And then if you have a dog, you can tell me what your dog says. Woof, woof, woof. And if you want to shake a tail, you can shake a tail. Woo. Give your other tail. Woof, woof, woof. Nice. And then coming down and meet me in cat. Pose. So we've seen a lot of cows in Vermont. Just the other day I saw many. So dropping the belly and lifting the head. Let's say cow. And then opposite, dropping the head. Cat. Meow. Dropping belly. Dropping head. Meow. Meow. From here, if you want to take the ultimate challenge, you can come up into donkey pose. Hee haw, hee haw, hee haw. Awesome. Now we're going to push back into froggy pose. So here we are, squatting on the floor. Boing, boing, boing. And on the count of three, you're going to reach towards the sky. One, two, three. behind him and bring him up and he loves that. So my kiddos love their froggy pose. Whew, well I'm getting, I feel really warm. So let's get into some more big room movement. So bear with me in this little space. Now this is one of my kiddos favorites too. We're gonna put on our hiking boots. Whew. Walking, 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 hop, hop, hop. Hop, 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 running, 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 running. Now let's stop. Now let's stop. We're going into a hand gesture called mudras. And then let's put our binoculars on. And we'll take a look around. What do you see? A tree! All right. So taking the cues from the kiddos, Whatever position they say is totally cool. So for tree pose, we're gonna pour our weight into one foot and whoa, maybe using one foot as a kickstand to help you. You can use the wall to help you. You can hold on to a sister, brother, mom, or dad. If this feels good, bring the foot up or even over the knee, just not on the knee. And extend your branches into the air. If you want to bring them up higher, feel free to do it higher. But if you do one side, let's do the other. All right. Kickstand, calf, or over the knee. Woo, extending the branches into the air. Whoa, swaying with the wind. We'll shake it out, we'll shake it out, we'll shake it out. Hiking boots on. Walking, 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 hop, 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 running, 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 running. Now let's stop, now let's stop, binoculars on. What do you see? Do you see a cloud? There's a cloud. We'll come into cloud pose. All right. And you can flow with the wind. Woo. And take it higher if you'd like. Woo. All right. Ah, let's shake it out. Let's shake it out. Let's put our boots back on. And remember, this can take us anywhere. So we'll let our, our kiddos follow us, uh, lead us. So here we go. Walking, 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 walking. Hop, hop, hop. 
for a snuggle. That's always the best. <sighs> Feel free to play some music and relax for a few moments as you finish. <sighs> and then when you're ready, Yoga. I hope you have fun doing this at home with your kids. <laughs> 